What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Let's Play for Prison Architect number four in our series. I'm Greg Miller. This is Justin Davis. Hello. And Justin Davis is the Prison Architect, so I'd like to say <laughs> that I take no responsibility for the apocalyptic events that are taking place in we this have game. A, we have a pile of blood at, yeah. the, at the entrance to the mess hall somehow. If you watched the last show, all hell broke loose. We had a guy break out of solitary confinement, kill some people... You got a body stuck in a doorway that's glitched out. The warden stuck in a room that we, he doesn't that is nothing, but he he, he We got this glitch there. room here. We got a glitch room, we got fence room. Well no the warden's not there. Did you get rid of the warden? Yeah, I fired him. Okay, yeah. okay. I feel like once I get rid of these final office squares, we'll actually be able to do So if you're just tuning in, we had an issue where the warden kept insisting on going to a specific room and then we couldn't delete the room. So we're replacing portions of the room with a fence and then deleting that fence. Yeah. In this, uh, in this game that is an alpha. Prison Architect is an alpha, yes. Yeah. If you buy it off of Steam like we did, you are you know promised the full game eventually. There's levels right now. They're adding things as they go. They're working all of it out. Uh, fun game. Interesting. Quirky. A lot of, a lot of interesting <laughs> things we're having to figure out as we go, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, and I did play this for a couple hours last night, but I am well outside of my element at the did moment. Did you make like, it this far? Like, you know? Yeah, I did. Um, but things... Th believe it or not, things are going better now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's seriously injured, so he's just dribbling blood along with him. He's one of the ones that got attacked by a solitary confinement dude. Oh, he's, he's, he's got a bladder problem, too. They all have toilets. Greg, I, I'm going to be honest with you. But I he, don't... I Look mean, at this guy still. There's literally been for over a day a dead body, in a this dead door. body just hanging out. It, it really all stems back to this warden situation. Yeah, then let's fix it. Get him yeah, uh, your final know. ones here. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm I trying. know you're trying. Okay. He's finally building the fence. Okay, so let's build. You gotta fence it up. Now, if people are joining us, uh, the workers that you tell them to go do stuff, they do it in like real time, like it's a task list for them. Yeah, and you can actually see actually what menu is it is it in? You can see like a list of all the tasks that are queued up around <laughs> Your blood trail here. Yeah. Boomer. Yeah, you can see uh, they just went out. I'm trapped in here with a bleeding dude. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to leave, sir. I'll go back to my room where I'm just left for dead all the time. Um what was I starting to say? I completely lost my train of thought. I was talking about workers. You, can, you were trying to find oh. how to do Finish off yeah. the room that you've almost got it done. Like you have a list of uh, tasks of, and it's usually like hundreds of tasks at a time because huh. like building each square of a building counts as right. one task and all your workers sort of scurry off and do it all. Um, Delete those own. fences and let's get, let's, get a, let's get a guy in here. A warden to fix some of this I'm stuff. Trying. Well, let's see. This might be the moment that we'll see if this doesn't work, Greg. We're just <laughs> is it that you do you need to tell those offices to be the warden's office or should he just know historically that's my office? No, we got it. We did it. Oh, do we? Yeah, okay, it's good. warden's office. He started walking like he was walking towards the door. No, I was, see, I was now he's doing out. it, and now, yep, now we're finally, well, we're finally back on track, Greg. And they're finishing this room. Ooh, what's that room gonna be? Uh, this is gonna be the visitor center to help get yes, these people's the conjugal visitors. I like this guy. Bowels. <laughs> This guy's my favorite because even though he's seriously injured, he's still like, no, I want my yard time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live it up. Um, and let's build some exercise equipment for these guys. We love baseball diamond. We let them. <laughs> they don't deserve that. Okay. Um, I think they've been through a lot. Oh, there's windows. I just realized I could have been giving these guys windows. No, that you don't deserve. They don't deserve windows. No. See, that was one of the things about Alcatraz Tour. You've taken the Alcatraz Tour, right? Mm-hmm. When you're at the, I always like the deal where they're like, uh, you know, Alcatraz is an island in San Francisco Bay. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, right. and they have, when you're in the cell area, they have these windows that are high, like you know, and barred, obviously, but they're open air, so that like people in the cells could hear, right. can hear the city, like when the city's yeah. Having they a always party say that that was the worst thing about yeah. Alcatraz was uh, being able to hear, oh no, regular life. Just this filthy toilet. You need janitors, is that the problem? Um, yeah, we need to hire a janitor, and we'll be able to finally do that in a sec. Seems like you should just tell the the, the guys to clean it themselves. Is You're the in jail. Wait, whoa, whoa, is that a naked man running down? <laughs> oh, no. He just, I like that he took his clothes <laughs> off ahead of time. And it's hard. It's hard They're to all naked. <laughs> That's not right. That's not how it goes. It's hard to tell if stuff like that is a bug, yeah, or yeah. if like. <laughs> well, one of them was bitching about clothing, right? Yeah. So it might just be that my clo their clothes their are clothes, filthy. Their clothes are too filthy because we got to build. Um, we can build um, a room to make them. Don't do it. I'd rather see a bunch of naked men the rest of the time. Put oh, that now they order. now they put their clothes back on. You'd rather see a bunch of naked men the whole time. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's almost eat time. We're getting more prisoners. I can't wait to see the families. I really want to build a morgue so we can deal with this dead guy. That's kind of starting to creep and me so out. So I guess, is that the thing, too? If you, if you zoom back over there, you got the dead guy, and then we got an unconscious guy. I mean, these guys are, I think are just glitched out. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm going to try deleting this wall and see if that... Like, freeze them? Yeah, freeze them. This one, too. Okay, so what did we say we were going to do? Oh, we're building a visitor center over here. Slowly, but surely. Yeah, I don't know, like, why... <laughs> Why wow, they stopped here? Right? Like you saw them before. Like if people watch these other videos, they built this room lickety split. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then as soon as like some urgency is needed, they're just like Aah. they're glitched out too. It looks like. Yeah, maybe I can just manually move them and have them. Nope, oh, you guys are just freaking out, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's wigging out. Yeah, Kristen wigging out. Are you still just? Maybe it's because you're seriously injured. So okay, here's the deal. We can hire a head of security. Uh huh. Got it. Okay, so now we finally have more staff. A chief exceeds daily budget. Oh, this is really important. I need him. <laughs> gotta make more money. Yeah. Two families raising. We got this giant list of stuff we gotta do. Oh, Greg, we're in real what's trouble a here. What's a holding cell? That's like a big cell to just lump all your prisoners at once instead of giving them individual cells. Oh, whoa. Oh. Is that new blood? Yeah, that's new blood. Oh, there's still a lick, blood over there. And the dead body's gone. Oh, no, there he is. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope. And he's nope. just pooping. Well, good. Go over there. Let's see what, the, what all the blood's about. This? Now, there was a guy in there forever, remember? He must have woken up. This guy? No, a different guy. I don't know, Greg. Now, I, you, you turned on Fog of War, right? That yeah. You could have that off. I did. I, maybe if we were to do this again, I would turn it off. Greg, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. If I were playing this game like on my own, I'm at home, yeah. I would be starting over. This really? Would be, this would be the SimCity city that I'm like, well. I've done <laughs> all I can here. <laughs> don't worry about this Well, I mean, prison. what, you want to try to stick it out? What do you want to do? Is it too bugged to play? I mean, I don't understand what happened to this room. I don't know why it won't build. Yeah. Maybe I'll just try to build another one. Maybe let's try to build another room. The conjugal visit room. Yeah, the conjugal visit room. Exactly. Foundation building building we'll build a visit room over here I guess and see how that goes I'm gonna delete all that stuff over there oh what and now alright guys thanks the moment that I'm like alright we're gonna cancel the other room uh, is it on your to do list or whatever well like you can bulldoze it but you can't cancel it for some reason they see, they see look it says they can't reach this spot but I don't know why a pool table TV. Yeah, you can build a, a recreation room, a rec room for your guys. Okay, so we can put a door there. Is that siren always going off now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just because everything's going to hell? Yeah. That, that's the blood siren? <laughs> well, there's blood in so many places. Yeah. Greg, that's the thing. Everything's filthy. Family, family, poop, family. And we can't hire a chief because it says we don't have the budget for it. Warden's freaking out. He's on the phone constantly. Or he's got a clipboard, I guess. I thought he was on the phone. He was walking around showing this us. This really bothers me. Like, I want to be able to hire more, more workers. What would the... Oh, is that what that guy would do? Yeah, like, I can't... I don't have the budget. Did you see that budget error? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, but I was saying... The, putting down the chief guy lets you get more workers. Maybe I need to fight. Let's fire some guards okay. there. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure the prison population can regulate itself. Well, I mean, we're in dire straits here. I need the chief. Good band. Dire straits. Yeah. And now I don't have enough money. Okay, let's take some more grants. Let's just let's do it all, Greg. There. What's another fifty grand? Yeah. A drop in the bucket. Okay, here. there. We got a chief. All right. Can we call Whew. him chief? Yeah, of course we're gonna call him chief. Okay. We got a chief. We got an accountant. Oh, she's going to get just r raped and murdered. Ooh. If he's, uh, there's blood all over here. You've already had a guy break out of solitary confinement. She well, should not be there. We will get rid of the blood this as soon as we... This is not a safe place for anyone, let alone a nice... She looks like a fat, older woman accountant. As soon as we hire a janitor, Greg, we'll just clean that blood right up. Okay. <laughs> we well, I'm glad have... that's where this is going. <laughs> We just won't have a problem anymore. We can hire a, a mental health, a psychologist, too. Sure, that's what these people need to be. You need to hire an electric chair. That's what you need to hire. 
Oh, I know why the guards... The So the way that this game works is you unlock these skills, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so you get the warden, and then you get the security chief, and then the security chief unlocks the ability to station guards at specific spots. Oh, he's like so you don't, assignments. Yeah, you don't have that right at the start. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. They also have a clone tool that's actually really cool. Like, you saw how long it took to build this first set of cells? Uh -huh. Like, you, you can do a clone tool and, like, copy all of this, like, copy all of this, and then paste it. Oh, cool. So well, like they have to still build it, though. Yeah, they have to build it, but you don't need to go through sure, the work sure, sure, of, sure, like, sure, you know, sure. doing it step by step by step. Step by step. Yeah, I think this game just got glitched out, Craig. Okay. I mean, I guess that's sort of a, you know, auspicious or sad way to end things, but, you know, we got workers freaking out. Can't you? We have six minutes left in this commentary. Let me try. Do you want Can you just let? Can you just delete all the guards and let the guys run wild and see what happens? Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Well, if we delete all the guards, are we going to be able to even see anybody do anything, I guess? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Should we make the accountant go into a cell and see what happens? Yeah, yeah, do that. All right, come on, lady. Well, now, she, now hold on a second. Does she, can she get through cell doors? I think so. Okay. She's also just not listening. To, she's like, nope. Oh, man, <laughs> nope, she knows better. <laughs> can we make the warden do it? Nope, we can't make anybody do it. Well, it's time to, yeah, we got to nuke this now. That's how big the map is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You could have quite the prison. We will one day. Maybe we're going to come back. I mean, I'd like to come back to this game. I enjoy this game immensely, actually. And yeah. It was not this buggy when I played it last night. We're just running into issues with pathing and some other stuff. Sure, sure, sure. And we're also running into issues with blood everywhere and dead bodies. Yeah, but those are fun issues. I like those issues. Oh, they're sleeping. Just delete all the doors. Delete all the doors and all the fences. Oh, God, what is the guard doing? No, I sent him in there. To do what? To stand on his chest while he sleeps and stare at him? Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to see if... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Should we go... Let's take a little tour and see who our guys are. Okay. They're all about to be dead, it looks like. Yeah, they're in, They're actually... So, let's see. One, two... Well, this one is dead. I don't okay. know why he didn't... So, I'm positive that we had ten prisoners, by the way. Okay. I'm really okay. curious about what happened. Did three of them manage to escape? Unsolved murders, one. Serious injuries. Yeah, this is not. This has not been a very well-run prison. Well, we've been learning. We've been talking. We've been doing it. We're here sh sharing it with the fans. Just. Three three years for driving under the influence. That's James Dummer. Warren Quayle, ten years for death by dangerous driving. Got next wife. Matthew, Shanilak. 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 No, I don't know. I don't, no, I don't know how to pronounce words. Oh, he's the he's the he's the Nickelback guy. See, yeah, yeah. This this just got all kinds of messed up. He's on the toilet complaining about bladder issues, and he's been there permanently. Do you think two years for drunken disorderly behavior? Drunken disorderly for a year for drunken disorderly is kind of hard. So let me ask you this, Greg. Yeah. We talked earlier about you want the death penalty for yeah. every, just pretty much every. Yeah. Dr drunk driving? That put to death? I, now hold on. Let's look, first off do stuff. Don't just make people s sit at the main menu. They okay. can watch. They can watch the horror, the destructed world here. That's not working out. Uh huh. It's not that I want this. I was just pitching this. I want. I wouldn't say I want to live in this world. But why don't we do that? When when we set this all up, why didn't we decide that? Because killing's wrong. Well, I mean, we have the death penalty. Sure, but we use it. We don't use it all that much. No, no, it's on state by state Nick basis. Levin. So here's my question. Yeah. I asked this question to you jokingly, but now I'm going to get serious for a second. Okay. If you have the death penalty and you put someone to death, and you find out later they're innocent, where you, yeah, I know you're going with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's just the worst possible thing. Yeah, I know. But here's my my hope on it, though. Uh -huh. Is that you get three in the world? I've, what we pitched in an earlier episode, right? Was he had three appeals, mm -hmm. you had three chances to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you can do it there. Now, are we gonna break some eggs, kill some innocent people? Of course we are. You know, it, we're, nothing's perfect. We, we, but you hope. The idea here is that there's a chilling effect of they are straight up murdering people if you do anything wrong. It's for the greater good. Like, would society as a whole be better off? You'd imagine the rational people. Even the rational, crazy prisoners and bad people would stop, right? They'd be like, you, yes, in the beginning when you throw this switch, some innocent people are going to die probably. But eventually people should stop doing bad things altogether because I don't want to die. I sure. don't want to be blown away. 
you want to know what bothers me about that? Sure. So it's always the villains in movies, like The Rock or like any The Rock, The Rock, uh, where he's like, "It's for the greater good." Yeah, we need to kill some babies, but it's going to be like better in the long term. And I want to see this Rock movie. But and then people are like, "Yeah, The Rock with uh, Nicolas Cage." Thank you. You were thinking of The Rock. Though. I was like, in what movie did Dwayne Johnson go, we got to kill some babies, but it's for the greater good. But you know what I'm saying? That's like a stereotypical right. villain Right, 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 thing, right, 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 right. And it's like, you're a monster. I can't believe you did that. You know, you would say that. Yeah. But, like, the good guys, like in Star Trek, have you seen Star Trek? I haven't not seen the new Star Trek. But, like, it's a good guy line to say, well, look, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Right. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. But it's all about your, you know, what you're doing and what the rationale. Oh my God! Answer this freaking phone call from the CEO. Yeah, I started over. This is the, the tutorial, by the way. I thought with our prison going to shit, we would show people for a second what like what a, a nice, what a functional real prison is supposed to look like. Function, yeah, well functioning prison looks like. So you can see that they got all their cell blocks here. They got a nice yard in the middle with some tables, nice showers. I like this game. So this is what. If Greg and I weren't terrible prison architects. Yeah, and again, you. I didn't. I never touched the controls. Oh, look at this. I didn't even think about the fact. I guess I knew, but I didn't remember. You can change the floors. Like, you can have nice wooden floors right. or tiles. We were too busy not having everyone murder each other for <laughs> aesthetics. So I think... Yeah, how'd that work out for yeah, us? Yeah, well, we learned some things. We're getting there. We're getting there in the end. I like this game, Justin. Yeah, me too. Should we play it some more maybe sometime? Yeah, I mean, maybe. We'll see if people like it. If you liked it, let us know. Hit us up on Twitter, at GameOverGreggy, at Error, Justin, like an error you see on a PC game because there's so many uh, PC games suck and there's so many errors. The nice thing about Prison Architect and what I like about video games today is yeah. that you get early access to things. Yeah. So this game is like deep in development right now. Like just two days ago, there were no riots. And then they added, they like you just get an update to the game. Hey, now there's riots. Yeah. And like then you'll update the game tomorrow. Hey, now there's these new well, buildings. See, you say now that's what you like, stuff. that you know, that you know you get early access. What I like about games right now is that this exists. You know right? what I mean? Like, if, if we were still in... If, like, this, if, this if there would not be a Sega Genesis game. Exactly. There'd be no... If you had to get a cartridge, you had to do all this other stuff where the industry was, you wouldn't be able to have these awesome indie experiences, stuff like this pop up, and yeah. have people who have a quirky, weird idea. And this is what... I, the argument I always have with Moriarty about Kickstarter, right? Yep. Is that I, you know, like, I like the idea that you can have a great idea for a game, not have the money for it, not be able to get a loan for it, but say, hey, guys, we want to make this, and people will be like, yeah, I'd like that, too, and they can sure. fund it. That's awesome. Video games are cool, everybody. I made it. So we're walking through the, the tutorial. If you want to if you want to know what kind of game Prison Architect is, yeah. the tutorial of the game is building an execution chamber. That's what I like to hear. There's also, their trailer is really funny, too, if you go hit it up. So. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us in another Prison Architect Let's Play on IGN. I'm Greg Miller at Game Over Greggy. This is Justin Davis, Error Justin. Uh, we're going to take a break and get ready for this E3 conference I hear so much about. <laughs> it's I think kind, I might, of a, kind of a big deal. I might investigate it, see what it's all, all about, party down. Maybe I'll interview somebody, talk to something. I don't know what will happen. But, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you thought of this Let's Play. Sh talk in the comments. What do you think of Prison Architect? Share it with your friends. And then come back to IGN every gosh darn day, okay? All right.